Okay guys, I'm just going to make a quick tutorial here, and I mean really quick, basic, go over some of the things we recorded earlier. And perhaps I'll just make um, a body right now, okay, or actually a head. Let's do that, just a quick head. So I made this cube right here. I'm going to give it some uh, sections, some uh, segments as we say in 3ds Max. <laughs> Great day. Alright, here we go. Here's my cube. Okay, we're going to pretend this is going to be our face, and again, it's a simple model. I'm in object mode. I see things looking good. Okay, so what I want to do is just get, go into wireframe mode, uh, smooth mode, actually, and look how this looks. Okay, not bad. So I pressed 3 earlier, so I'm just going to come in here under edit mesh, and uh, is it mesh? Smooth. Here we go. It's in smooth. All right, and let's see what it's smooth do here. Inputs. I've got divisions, continuity. It's not looking that smooth, is it? Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna hold off on that a second. Yeah, let's do something. Let's do something different. Let's round this off. Okay, I'm gonna go into vertex mode quickly uh, in the top view. Okay, so you can go panels, orthographic, top, and what I want to do is select these four corners. Okay, I'm gonna hold shift and marquee select the four. Then press R for scale from the center, and look at that. So we're basically rounding this off, okay? And the next thing is, I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, you can go to Panels, Orthographic, Front View, okay? Or you can come in here, Space Bar, click over here, wait for Front View over the word Maya, and then should be down here. Pop. There it is. This is Front View. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And let's bring it in. And perhaps down, well, you know, I'll leave it like that. And here, one, shift, two, and let's bring that in like that. Okay, all right, so that's looking pretty good. At this point, I'm going to get these corners, press W, and bring them down a touch. I'm just trying to round things off, okay? So maybe the forehead can go up a bit, and take this one, bring it down. So I'm just trying to round off things, okay? Um, let's see. If the chin's in the front here, so let's bring this down a bit and just hold the uh, space bar my, over my perspective and let's see what we have. And why am I upside down? Have no idea, people. Regardless, uh, let's go. Take this guy here, down and over. So you see what I'm trying to do? So I'm trying to round it off. Okay? So one, two, and here, uh, same thing. Let's just bring it in and up a touch. All right. And this one is going to go in and down a touch. Okay, so you notice what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to round things off a bit. This being the back of the head, the top here being the front. How does this look for now? Let's just do something here. And then I'm going to have my chin coming out right about here. Okay, so looking over, it's looking pretty good. I may just want to add a insert edge loop here under edit mesh. And we'll just and have an area for the eyes later. Press W to get out of it. And here it is. This is looking pretty good. So I'm just going to go to object mode quickly. So this is stage one. Press three. You know what? This, ooh, uh, something's not symmetrical here, people. What happened? I can tell you right now. Right click, vertex. Um, what I usually do is actually delete one half. And of course, I haven't shown you that yet. Perhaps we'll do that right now so we don't get into these uh, issues of symmetry. So I'm just going to go, um, okay, click, object mode, right click, just go to face, delete one half, say bye-bye to this one, see ya. Spinning around, that's uh, looking pretty good. Going back to object mode, press three. Awesome, so we've got our first stage of the head, okay. Uh, bell's going to go soon, so I better just, uh, why, don't, why don't I do one more thing here for fun. Okay, so, so I'm going to have a nose here. Uh, and then the eyes. I'm just going to go to insert edge loop. And again, this is all review for you guys. Not the first time seeing me do this. Okay, W to get out. And I'm going to come in here and go into face. And I'm going to press extrude. And this time I'm going to spin around and I'm click on this little blue box so I can actually scale in zero. One. G to repeat. Do it again. Two. And G to repeat. Click on the box, scale again. Okay, and if you want to see where I'm going to go with this, simply if I go to, if I want to push this back right now just for fun, it's really going to get into the cavity here. 
for the eye socket. Okay, this will be all continued in the next tutorial for you. Press W to move it back a touch. Okay, and then uh, we'll fix this up. All right, I'm going to come out, object mode, boom, and three, smooth mode. Looking pretty good. Okay, um, some things are, we're going to need a cut here to make it eight-sided. All right, that will come in later. Again, thank you very much. Uh, I think this, this is Mr. Ballion again. Enjoy this tutorial. Uh, stage two coming up soon, okay? Bye-bye for now.